I've always been wanting to get an EV, and these being so much smaller than all the other EVs, it just kind of made sense for me. When we first purchased it, it was all orange. Um, and then we brought it here for some service, and we decided to half green since I'm a duck and half orange since he's a beaver. He normally drives it to work, but on the weekends, we take it out like we just go all over town, like all weekend. Aaron's. Um, downtown, the street. We got a spot at the river we go like to the go river. to. I love it. I mean, whenever I take you out to the grocery store, like it just puts smiles on people's faces and it makes me happy. As far as cost savings, um, I do notice our insurance is quite a bit less. It's like 17, I think, per month versus 50 or 60 for a normal vehicle. But also the fuel, you know, it's a few bucks. Not having that experience of sitting at the gas station, filling up and smell and everything, it's, I haven't missed that at all. Has your relationship with your Lexus changed since the FUVs entered into your world? Absolutely. I'd much rather drive the FUV. <laughs> it barely gets driven. Personally, I'm also a shareholder and I'm holding the shares for the long term. Um, I really root for the company. I think that everybody tends to be wanting to go bigger and bigger with these bigger trucks and cars. You know, I think long term we should be going in this direction. I agree with Stan. 